Okay, now we're gonna try transplants. We're gonna transplant one tomato and one cabbage. So here we go. This is the cabbage. You can check the soil thermometer again if you want to. Um, I'm not going to do that since we already talked about it. And again, you can plant without a thermometer. You don't really need it. Okay, to plant any, to transplant almost anything, you make a hole. I'm going to break this up because it's kind of wet. yourself a hole that's about the same depth as your uh, the height of your pot. So I'm going to need to make it a little deeper here. Break it up. Let's kill the worm. Now I dug it a little bit deeper, I think because I want to put some fertilizer. I'm going to put in about a half a cup of fertilizer in the bottom of the hole and mix that in so I'm not planting directly in fertilizer. Then you plant your plant. I'm going to pick off these lower leaves. Um, and I watered the plant you can see it's really wet. I watered the plant before before I um, before I'm putting it in the ground. Then just put the soil around it, pack it down, and we are good. Now this I bought this in town, um, and it comes with a label. So you don't have to make one. It's already got a label. So that's how you transplant pretty much anything. We're going to need to water, but I'm going to wait till I transplant the tomato. Now tomatoes are very different. They're the one plant you plant differently. Here's my tomato, big, and I need a very deep hole for the tomato. And you'll see why in a minute. Again, I watered the tomato before I'm planting it so the roots will be nice and wet while it's in its new home here. Again, I'm going to put fertilizer in the hole. So I put a half a cup of fertilizer down there. And I'm going to put a little bit of compost in the hole. And some uh, planting instructions say a little bit of bone meal. Tomatoes would like that. So I'm going to put in a little handful of bone meal. Now, if you don't have, I'm gonna mix it in. If you don't have bone meal, and you don't, even if you don't have compost, go ahead and plant the tomato. You do want fertilizer at the very least. Okay, so I have a real deep hole here. Now, I watered the tomato before I got ready to plant, and I'm gonna dump it out. Oh, I need to get rid of this uh, stick that's holding it up, supporting it. I'll put a cage around it or a pole later. Now, tomatoes, you want a lot of stem bare. So I'm going to pinch off these lower leaves. And 
that may bother you, but the tomato will form roots all along this stem. Then I put it in the ground. And put the soil back in. Oh, I could have gone deeper. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. It's taller than I thought. more of the stem is underground. Now this plant, I don't have a label for. I got it cheap at my mark because it didn't have a label. And for demonstration, I don't care if it has a label. Now, I could actually have planted it deeper yet, um, up to here. And if you, if you don't have a deep, deep enough hole to plant the tomato, I guess I could have shown you this before I planted it, you can actually lay the tomato down horizontally, make a, a trench like this, and lay the stem there, and very gently turn those top leaves up. So, that will allow you to plant a tomato plant if you don't have a deep bed or a deep garden. Now again, I could have planted it, you know, like this deep. So only that much is sticking out. I just didn't dig quite deep enough a hole and I'm not gonna dig it up again. Okay, you need to water. Now, remember that the soil temperature when we measured it was 60 degrees? That's way too cool to be planting a tomato. Um, tomatoes want the soil to be at least 70 degrees. So, in real life, you don't want to plant your tomatoes this early. Um, you need to wait. So, a lesson is, you're going to see tomato plants, you know, at Bymart, Fred Meyer, and, and places, maybe even at nurseries. You're going to see them now. It's April right now. Do not plant tomatoes now. It's way too early. As you saw, the soil's only 60 degrees. Tomatoes want it between 70 and 90. So this would be way too early to plant your tomatoes. One last thing, because it's early and these are babies, I sometimes shade the plant. This, uh, this is south, I'm looking north. So I sometimes put some kind of a shade, I use shingles, in front of the plant. So when the sun is uh, beating on it, it's not gonna wilt it and um, hurt it. So that's it. That's tomatoes.